Hi, my name is Ifani, and in this video we'll be discussing about agro-processing in Nigeria that is adding value to agricultural products. Agro-processing in Nigeria involves adding value to Nigeria agricultural produce. Value-added agriculture generates several billion in economic impacts of a country. Agro-processing is an untapped business opportunity that anyone can venture into due to low startup capital. Adding value to agricultural products, you can go into it. All, is, all, all that you require is necessary skills to acquire clients, to get to be specialized and, has, and have specific targets. It is important you consider this business opportunity. Agro-processing is good for you, but you must be specialized and have the necessary skills required for your chosen specialization. That is why our training offers not just how to produce or how to process or how to package or how to export, but how to get clients. That is digital marketing skills and strategies for getting clients for your product. I think it would be nice if you consider our training. It will really equip you a lot. By the, by, by you, by the end of the workshop training, you must have done 10 projects on export business, 10 projects on food processing and packaging, that is agro-processing, and 10 projects on digital marketing skills. You will end up, you know, building, building a, a startup. Immediately, you are ending our workshop. So, what is value added? Value added means add adding value to a raw product by taking it to at least the next stage of production. That is taking products from next stage of production. Adding value may be as elaborate as going all the way to consumers with a case ready food products that is ready to cook food items. If you are considering a value added enterprise, there are two key important questions you need to ask and answer to yourself. What is cost customer's value? What creates a value-added product? Because when, you're, when you want to add value, you don't just add value. You add value based on the fact that there is customer value for such products. There is needs. There is needs for that certain product. Before you start considering how can you, you know, add value to this in order to target such specific customer's need. What creates a value-added product? So we we'll look into all these things as they will help us to understand what value addition is. What is customer value? Customer value reflects the relationship between the benefit customers receive from the price they pay for a product. The benefit, the price they pay for a product. A very a good example is, you see these days, you, you can easily buy food stuff online because one of the, the reasons the, 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 the problem they are trying to solve is the issue of um, you know, Lagos traffic. You know, imagine somebody, you're inside their house, you order, somebody just run, run, run errand for you, go to the market, get necessary food stuff, you enter, you know, prepare, do some, uh, some little work, wash, clean, and bring it to your house. It's part of it. Now, a, a very good example, you don't just, you don't want, you, 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 you have this crayfish now, you don't want it to be like that. You need to put it in such a way that people can just open it direct and put inside their food. So, the, va the customer value is what they receive. Like, when you want to build a product, want to create a product, are you sure there is a customer value for such products? What do you think we make a customer to buy it? Aside normal products you used to buy in the marketplace. So these are some of the things you should be consider. Look at those things you think that will make some customers to buy your products. And don't just verify yourself. Try to make research and make sure that it's visible before you venture into that certain product. Now the more benefits you receive, the more benefit relative to the price, the higher the cost, cost customer pay for the product. This does not necessarily mean that the, the greater value results from a low price. No. 
the higher the value, the benefit a customer received, received from a, a value-added product, that will make the customer to pay more. The price of a particular product may be high, but if the associated benefits are high as well, the customer perceives the product as valuable. Okay? Just imagine when you've taken your time, you want to, uh, you want to go into spice production. We're taking an example of pea soup spice now. Now you have your recipe. You have done some research, you have made some analysis, and uh, you, you have done some uh, trial, and you, you have good feedback that the product is okay. And you take your step further to have a production facility, you know, very well, very well uh, organized, and you, you, you have to go for your NAFDAQ registration and every other thing. You back it up even with ISO. The customers will definitely, you know, you know, value such products because you have done your homework. So it depends on the level you want to take your value pro your value addition to. But you can start from somewhere. Rome wasn't built in a day. A drop of water makes a mighty ocean. We need to make a step first. All right. So you can start from somewhere. You mustn't start packing with pouches or you're looking for, look for something very special. Just focus on quality, hygienic, and some important factors that we elaborate in, some, in our trainings. So you can start small. You can even start kitchen production. Okay? So what creates added value? Value is usually created by focusing on the benefits associated with the agro-business products or services that arise from it. Now, look at what the quality. Does the product or the service meet or exceed customer's expectation? Quality is very important in food, in, in food business. Functionality. Does the product or service provide the function needed of it? Form. Is the product in a useful form? Pr place. Is the, is the product in the right place? Place matters also. So we have quality, you have functionality, form, and place. Then time is the product in the right place at the right time. Ease of, uh, of possessions is the product is it for the customers to obtain. So these are some of the things you need to consider. It's not all about producing alone. You need to consider some factors that you, you have to implement in your production. So value addition is a very vital and a promising business. So what's driving value add add added? Agro-processing in Nigeria, particularly the food sector, is rapidly consolidating and increasing response, responding to the changing tests and preferences of the customers. Now, we have sections that come to the market to buy things. We have those that, doesn't come, that don't come to the market, those that order online. So you see things are changing. Before then, you know, people will always have, either you have a, house girl, a, house, a housemaid or you have somebody that help you and get your product. But you must go to the market and get your food product. That was before. But things are now changing. Before, before, before if, you're, if you're cooking and you need to add pepper, you need to pound it, use mortar, you know, you know pound the pepper, you know, some of those things. But things are changing. Just open, open a, a jar or a cup of something that contains the pepper, and take a scoop, the quantity you want, and put in the soup. So there are so many things happening, uh, you know, uh, happening in the value chain. Consumers have higher income than ever before. So you know, the more you get, the more uh, customers are getting money, the more they want workload to be reduced. Because as they are getting their income, they are also working to get their income. So instead of going to office, going to work, and still come back, go to market, you must pound this. You want to cook yam, uh, yam soup, you must go and buy it in the market, come and boil it, come, uh, you know, peel it, and start pounding, 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 pounding. Somebody can easily switch to cocoyam powder, pour, you know, ready to cook. Just pour in the boiling water and start making your cocoyam soup. They are focusing more on conveniency, quality, variety, service, health, and social 
consciousness. So these are some of the things that drive value additions. They are also first faced with increasing value of their time. Time no day again, no. People are trying to get things done within the short period of time. So these are the places you come in. In a nutshell, consumers are more value conscious than ever. So in as much as you plan to start your value addition business or agro-processing, you must make sure that the quality must always be your starting point. All right? Consumer rising uh, disposable income and the market fragmentation caused by retail consolidation exacerbate exa 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 what competition, but at the same time, leave many niche markets to be exploited. So, uh, I know some people say uh, they have gone into it, they have started producing this one, they started producing this one. My dear, it's good that you, if you want to start this business, attend trainings, find a place, don't just sit in your house and say you'll start with it. No. When you, you, when you, when you, you mingle and mentored by those in the field, you need to know that in every business you, need to, you want to start, there must be a niche. There must be your target market. You must have the focus where you, people you, you target with such, maybe the, such products or a certain service. So these are a very important need to consider. So how to benefit from agro-processing in Nigeria? Number one, to take advantage of opportunities in this area, one must know and understand customers. What customer seg segments might want your products? What are the benefits desired by these potential customers? What criteria are they looking for when purchasing your products? Write this down as part of business plan. Step to succeed in a value-added business. Build a new, a new business. To build a new business is very difficult and hard, takes hard work, yes. But for all us on uncertainty, there are, there are ways to craft value, successful value addition strategies. We offer trainings. It's going to help you a lot. We don't charge much. The key factor in a detailed business plan are operational plan. So this, you need to plan. If you really want to succeed in this business, you need to build, you know, build your business from a plan. A plan that you have structured and you have, you know, have taken your time to do analysis, to do research on. And a building plan is one of the benefits you, you, you will gain if you're attending a very good training. Because you know, as you are, you are learning, you are learning and acquiring from the experience of others. You you understand what is happening. You know the right things to do at the right time. So operational plan, flow of the business, quality and con and the cost control. That is personal plan needs skills and the trainings. That is where we come in. The personal plan where we can develop you not only how to process, how to source, how to quality check. You know, even how to get international buyers of your product and how to build a gigantic online presence for your small business. Sales plan, okay? You know, this is just it, selling. That is the, 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 the because once you sell, that is the exchange where you get your money. Without sale, then your production is, raw, is, is, not, is not valid. It's not visible. So selling is very important. You know how to sell. You know how to promote your business. It's not about going to go, and, go and tell somebody, give them 500,000, 250, 150, 100,000 to develop a website for you or to do research for you. Even if you want to do that, it is important you sit down, attend training, know the basic things, you know necessary things you will require, you, you, you will recommend on your website. You will recommend on some of those things that you, you want to pay people to do for you if you know you can't do them yourself or you're not, you don't have time to do them. At least you should be able to tell somebody, no. I want my product price list to be here. I need this kind of picture here. I need some, some things like this. I want like, customers to flow from here. And these are some technical things you need to implement in your business. And you know, you know that some of the web designers, they're just, uh, they're just uh, designers. They're just good with colors and how to you know, uh, you know, confirm, you know, custom code to fit what they want. But the business operation of your website, you should be a kind of back, a backbone to it. Management plans, strength, weakness, and resources, investment and financial plan, cash flow. So this is some of the layouts of how your business is going to 
uh, is going to, your, your business plan should be. Now, adequate training is needed to start a successful agro processing in Nigeria. I suggest you should consider attending a practical oriented agro processing training to set you on the right path to avoid the wastage. You know, one of the reasons why we have to include so many practicals on our workshop is that some of the mistakes you will do, you, you, are, you are going to package, source, pr uh, process and package 10 good products. So some of the mistakes you will do along the way, when you will start yours, you won't, uh, you won't do it. You just, the, the workshop is just like a trial. So you cannot, you won't repeat such mistakes again. You can always contact us if you need assistance on starting an agro processing in Nigeria. This is uh, www.sportbusinesstraining.com. So we offer both online and offline workshop training where we equip you with all necessary skills you need to start export business in Nigeria and uh, start food processing and packaging company. Also, digital marketing skills for exporters and small business owners. It's very important you know how to, you know your target market and know how you talk to talk to them and reach them also. Thank you so much. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to be updated. Bye for now.